Hello and welcome to episode 98 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on making a full set of chain armour. So here we are at chain armour, a good middle of the road armour to adventure in. Um, the speed penalties when you're on foot are middle road again, you can still move on the pavement to out uh, distance most of the mobs. Trolls and crocs will still laugh at you of course, but the rest of the creatures will start to fear you. Well except the dragons and giants of course, but then I've already shown you how to steer clear of them. And <coughs> excuse me sorry when we previously tried to battle a dragon which was very sorry affair anyway let's make some new armor and try to um, keep our lives a bit longer living in the world of worm to do this we will need some glowing iron lumps in our inventory and a large anvil to create some armor chains which we will need to actually create the chain armor with. I would re recommend making about 20 kilograms of armor chains to make a full set of armor. You probably use a bit less, but it's best to be safe, be better to be safe than sorry. So let's grab a glowing iron lump and there's an anvil on the ground. Let's have a look at the quality. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Right, okay, so we're going to use the recipe crafting window, which is always nice and simple to do. You'll see in there I typed armor. Now this shows you, whilst I'm going to be doing iron, for a lot of the things I've been making in the past, um, you'll notice there's been other materials we can use. Now materials like glimmer steel and adamantine and cereal, I believe, are limited to either the worm online or the adventure mode for worm so here's the ones that we can make though bronze copper gold iron silver and steel we're going to be making iron but it would be nice wouldn't it to have a full gold set of art chain armor how impressive would that look maybe i'll do future episodes on each of the different um uh, materials. Maybe when I start in adventure mode I can then show you the full range I hope. Um, anyway let's get back to the matter at hand. So we're going to do some iron chain links in order to make our chain armor set. So we'll right click on the armor chains, left click add to the crafting window and then we will right click the large anvil, add it to the crafting window. Then we need to come down the bottom here and select armor chains. You'll see that uh, I've got a bit of a boost in arm, chain armor smithing because obviously in this episode I didn't want you to watch for 20 minutes while I'm making chain armor links so I thought I would make a load beforehand that's why my skills got up a bit. Anyway to make these chain these armor chains we've got the materials in there and we'll now just click create you'll see that we're getting chain armor smithing experience and armor smithing experience and these are I need to start doing some serious work on my armor smithing in order to get to progress to the plate armor smithing because that's obviously the one that I wanna get to eventually because then them dragons are gonna well not fear me but they're certainly gonna start to be a little apprehensive anyway right so I've made three. Let's grab the other 49 that I've made. You'll see I've got a weight of 26 kilograms. That should be easily good enough for a full set. And yes, you can combine them all together. Right, okay, so now that we've got them combined, let's just put them back in there while we find the actual armor set recipe now. And notice when you make the chain armor um, armor chains that you get little tiny lumps they're scraps basically what I do is I'll put the main quality level 64 in there and the rest I'll just dump in the scrap chest because 
they're good for making nails what can I say quality level six so that's the scraps okay right back to our armor so now in here we will type chain and then that will list off the different uh, armors for us okay so first of all we will make the boot what I'll do is start at the top and just work my way down so we're going to need two boots because I'm not going to do like I did before previously and make any one boot and one glove because that really didn't help when I was fighting that dragon anyway right so let's right click on the chain boot and first grab the armor chains into our inventory then sorry right click notice it says we're going to be using the chain armor skill but that's why I've brought this up so you can see and we will add okay next we need to add the anvil let's move this up so it doesn't keep blocking okay next we need to add the anvil and there we can see the list so I will use this side in fact I will leave the jacket till last look at that that's gonna be ridiculously hard to make but we shall give it a try right so here's the full set but of course we're gonna need two boots two um, sleeves and two gauntlets okay let's start with what's the easiest it's yep the boot so I'll click that and I only want one oh, actually I want two so let's put that to two and create see our skills are going up nicely and also we're getting smithing which is nice okay there's our two boots so that's good right let's notice that when you create you'll get even smaller scraps so for now I'll just put them in one of the cauldrons okay so next we will make the cough coif and we only want one of them so let's click create and yep we're probably going to get lots of failures but failures is a good thing because it will be giving us the experience still so that's okay it's all good failed again and if we're failing at this you can imagine how it's going to be for the rest I mean the jacket I ain't even got a hope of at the moment unless I'm very lucky which I can assure you I am not as you can see with a 38% chance I'm still not lucky notice as well that our uh, armor chains now is gone from 26 kilograms <coughs> excuse me sorry down to 24 but we have our coif right next we're gonna make the gauntlets so we need two of them so let's try it. Let's cross our fingers. You can see I'm going to have some fun trying to get this full set made. Up oh, there's one. Let's see now if we can get another one. Yep, there we go, cool. So we've got our gauntlets, our coif, and our boots. Okay, next we're going to try and do our two sleeves. And this is going to chew up, you're going to notice, a bit more of our armor chains because it's uh, heavier. It needs to use more materials. So we're going to need two. Let's create. let's close that okay we will try again we've got one that's good let's try again and we will keep trying and we're going to be doing a lot of failures this is reminiscent of worm online the days i spent oh the, the 
weeks, the months I spent at the forge creating different armors, trying all the time to work my way up to plate armor. And boy, oh boy, that is going to certainly teach you respect when we get to, to plate armor. For those of you that are playing Worm Online, it is absolutely fantastic when you manage to make your first set. But it must have taken me over six months, now maybe a year or two, uh, just on and off, keep practicing, practicing, in order to... Uh, you see, the thing with the plate is getting the quality level up. But anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Right, we've got the sleeves. So next we need the pants. So let's try and do that. Yeah, I did do absolutely a ton of armor chains. So no doubt someone else will be able to use the rest of the materials. But it's looking like we only needed about 10 after all. Oh well, let's keep trying. Okay, so we dropped down to 19% success chance now. And at least I do have plenty of armor chains. So it's taking a little damage, but that doesn't matter. My skill is going up nicely, and I'm not even using my sleep bonus, which, by the way, I managed to get up to five hours. I'm saving that for a harder skill that I'll be covering. Ah, right, we got the pants. Okay, last but not least, we now need the jacket. So, I haven't got much chance, but eventually I will get lucky. But let's see how many tries it takes. For a 6% chance. Oh, nearly at 20 chain armor smithing. And that's 20. Probably going to level up my chain armor smithing, just trying to make the uh, jacket. Oh, wow, boy, oh boy. Oh, let's just do this, I think would be easier considering how much I'm failing. Oh, I've got one. Let's cancel that. There we go. Wow. Finally. Okay, so I need to imp all of this up, improve it all, because obviously that's no good. Um, let's put my... Uh, oh, these are all just scraps. So I shall put them in the scrap bin over here. Okay, so we got the full armor set there. Let's now put that on and show you what it looks like. Let's close that. Whoops, not that one. Let's close the skill window. Okay, let's bring up the character window. And remember, if you click on the show player, it shows us the armor. So let's drop all of this over here. I must still imp up that lever armor <clears throat> because remember 
when I'm tending the farm and just working around my my um, deed where it's safe I want to be moving quicker because I'm mainly walking so I'll switch back to my lever in case a fog spider jumps out at me or something that's why I wear armor um, on the deed um, but for now let's put the ch new chain armor on so we can equip it And there we are. There is a full set of chain armor. Yes, I need to imp it up. And I'm going to be aiming for about 50. Uh, I want to get the quality level to at least 50, maybe 60. Maybe if I can get in the zone, the armor chain armor smithing zone, I'll get it to 70 maybe. But I'm not sure. We'll see. Anyway, next I want to read from the wonderful Wormpedia because it has additional information which will complement this episode. So, reading from the wonderful Wormpedia chain armor smithing page. Description. Skill is gained the first time you make armor chains with the large anvil. Influences your success ratio at making and improving any charmer, chain armor related item. Chain armor provides 55% damage reduction at 100 quality level. And I wish you luck getting it to 100 quality. The wearer will walk moderately slower and have a moderately slower attack speed. Chain armor offers a defense bonus versus stabbing damage, while the equipment itself receives extra damage from stabbing. A full chain set weighs 8.20 kilograms and will slow you to 13.90 kilomiles, kilometers per hour on cobblestone when warm. Worn. Okay, now on the Wormpedia page, it uh, shows you the list of all the different bits of the armor and how much materials they will use. As you can see, I made much too much, but it doesn't matter because someone else will be able to make use of it. Um, just to read the notes from the Wormpedia, some items, particularly the pants and jacket, are difficult to create. Well, I believe I got that across in this video. They will not show up in the create menu unless you have a good anvil and or high skill. Well, remember I'm playing Worm Unlimited, where things are much much quicker but for those of you playing worm online that is indeed correct you wouldn't it'd be a while before you see the jacket in your list or even the pants um, because it's much much slower progress but then it's also fulfilling at the same time so there we are um, let's just switch back see if there's anything else I wanted to cover or show you no nope, that's it Okay, well, I will leave you with this last fault. How the heck am I going to get dragon hide in order to make the hide armor episode? When a baby dragon would annihilate me, uh, I guess it's gonna be very difficult. Anyway, I'll have to come up with a cunning plan. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode on Chain Armour. Goodbye.